Xuan and uh, Jing Hong for the invitation for this opportunity to present uh, our work. So this is a plan. In fact, like, as Xuan mentioned, I still remember that was uh, uh, 1999, the Kim's meeting in Quebec City, where I first, you know, met Gail and Xuan also at the dinner, I think Xing Fu and Shi uh, Gui and Xiao Qiang were together having a, having a dinner. So I get to, to, to know them. Uh, and then from there, I get, became a postdoc working with uh, Gail and Xu Wan, uh, starting uh, in Waterloo University. And then at that time, Gail was on sabbatical leave uh, in, in, in Waterloo. So that is where I started to move into the uh, mathematical biology. So I'm trying to organize my talk. You know, I said, mentioned before 99, that was my PhD work. After started doing the mathematical biology, uh, till now, I will try to make a closed circle of my work on predator prey systems also because my PhD was on Hilbert's 16th problem about bifurcations and the limit cycles. Uh, the work, mainly recent work, are uh, due to recent uh, PhD student uh, who is Yuan Pei. In fact, she is in the audience, uh, online audience. Of course, this presentation is to Gil. So happy birthday, uh, Gil. So the talk is organized. I will talk about currently uh, the, 16, the status of the 16th problem. And then I will start uh, by looking at predator prey type of systems with two limb cycles. Also, the third part, uh, the systems with three limb cycles. This is the number of limb cycles appearing in two dimensional predator prey system. And then because like the third part, we will see a third limb cycle uh, appeared in a system. In fact, Gil also presented. Uh, so in the end, I will mention where this third cycle comes from, and then use this to connect to the difficulty part of 16th problem. Uh, so I will start with this. I suppose everybody knows uh, the 16th problem. Mainly if we denote, for example, like plenary uh, in order of polynomial system, you denote the maximum number of limb cycles as n. So we are looking at what is hn. But the progress of this problem seems like so limited uh, after this uh, over 100 years. The first one is, of course, if it is a linear system, no limb cycle is clear h1 equal to zero. But if it is for quadratic poly polynomials, uh, so what is the number? So by the early work of 90s, uh, Shi Songling, also uh, Chen Lanshun, Wang Mingshu, by their work, they give examples of four limb cycles, so which su suggests H2 is at least four. But what is the right answer is still open. Uh, of course, this problem is, is a global problem, it's difficult. Try to find the maximum number of limb, limb cycles for all the quadratic system. Uh, in fact, starting of 86, so Dumartier, Rosary, and Rosso, uh, who was my P former PhD supervisor, they have a program try to break down this global problem into solving local problems by looking at all the limb periodic set in the system three. Basically looking at the peri limit periodic set, which can bifurcate to generate limb cycles. And the conclusion is this program aims at proving the existence of such a bond, but does not give exactly what the bond would be. So for this pro problem, like this is where uh, my PhD work started. 
So to prove this, like they break down the whole global problem by looking at 121 limit periodic set, or we call it graphics. And then, so what is a graphic? It's a special limit periodic set, which can be bifurcated into limb cycles. Uh, first one is a singular point. Uh, all itself, it's a limit cycle, a period, periodic uh, orbit, or a closed non-periodic orbit. So you have a singular point connected by oriented uh, orbit. So you have to 121 uh, graphics fall into these three categories. So for this, the progress, in fact, has been very slow. Uh, the problems, like starting off uh, the singular point, which we call it elementary. So, so the, the singular point, if there's at least one non-zero eigenvalue, we call it uh, elementary. So for all elementary uh, graphics, so this has been solved. This include, for example, uh, homoclinic homo 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 loop. So this is involved in a BT bifurcation. Of course, you have a, a, you know, the saddle node loop, just like the homoclinic loop. So all this, in terms of quadratic systems, uh, the problems are all solved. Now the difficulty is if you have a graphic with a neopotent sing singularity. So later I will mention two types of singularity appear in planetary system. So this is an example. Uh, the difficulty part is you see this is a saddle because it's neo the linearization is a neopotent uh, matrix with two zero eigenvalues. But the local orbit, as you can see, the two separatics are tangent. Uh, this gives the difficulty, for example, if you have this uh, neopotent saddle with a regular orbit. So if this appears in quadratic system, if you perturb this, how many limb cycles you will ex expect? Because lack of information near the neopotent saddle, so this makes the problems uh, difficult. And along this, uh, there, there is some progress, but it, again, it's being slow. Uh, try to prove all the graphics with neopotent singularity. In yeah, 2015. So the progress is really slow. You know, my former PhD uh, student, that Chen Hua Shan. Does he have the best results so far? Yeah, as far as we know, this is the best result in, in progressing. Yeah, this is like, it was in, in my PhD thesis, why it is difficult, mainly due to the existence of neopotent singularity. Uh, so that is about the current status of Hilbert's sixing problem for quadratic polynomials. Now let's start to look at uh, after 99, you know, I became a postdoc with Gil and Suan, started to work on two types of problems. One is neural networks, the other is predictable system. So this is, I use this uh, general predictable system with the uh, logistic growth for uh, prey. For this system, uh, Px, of course, is a uh, response function. And in general, it takes the form of holding type one, two, three, four. There's the, the extended or generalized forms. Mm -hmm. um, so the first work, I spent more than one year finishing one paper, which was on the blue choice, like looking at the, the uh, response function of holding type four. Of course, this, if you look the Google, uh, Google the, the papers available, so the predictor prey system with this type of uh, uh, response functions, you will find a lot of publications uh, related to, to the, to the uh, problem. But among, in fact, like both Shigui and many others did the work on this too. 
So I, I ignore the list of, it's too, really too many of references. But for all of this type of work, the main focus is either, for example, Kira mentioned, you prove the global stability or to understand the complexity of the dynamics. The difficulty part is with different choices of the response function, what kind of dynamics you would expect. Mainly, uh, we are looking at limb cycles. So if you look all the references, uh, previous result, for example, if you have P of Holling type three and four, uh, the number of limb cycles, usually you will find two. Uh, you have two limb cycles. This is a typical case, two limb cycles bifurcated from half bifurcation. Uh, I listed some of the work. In fact, as you can see, 2002. So that was the first work working with uh, Swan and Gail. So after that, till 2006, we were looking at the half bifurcation how to tell the order of the how bifurcation till lately uh, 2014 we were looking at the you know the fast slow oscillations in the system uh, I listed the references at the bottom so basically if you look at that in conclusion you see two limb cycles in this type of preterm pre system in the first paper we mentioned, uh, we have a sentence, in fact, modular that even, uh, even, even number of limb cycles, you, you will see and you can observe two limb cycles. Because the, whole bif uh, the bifurcation of homoclick loop, it, is, it changes stability many times, but it's hard to really catch it. So this is a pre system with two limb cycles. Uh, now look at the predictor pre type of system with three limb cycles. So this is a model. In fact, uh, I mentioned Gil presented. You have two pre and predictor, both with largest growth. So in fact, we start this problem by looking at the uh, past in T garden. Uh, the past, in fact, is called Mbosa uh, onuki. It's a kind of tiny insect. So it damages the tea growth, uh, tea leaves. So it goes through three stages, egg, nymph, and adult, like many of the insects. It has a nature enemy. Uh, it's a kind of predatory mite. Uh, it looks like this. It also goes through uh, three stages, egg, nymph, and adult. So this is uh, nature enemy for uh, the, 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 the past. Of course, like looking at the population themselves, it is itself is complicated. So if you put them together, no, this I just show, uh, in fact, this was based on the field studies uh, in Wei Mountain. I remember uh, Huang Yang, we were at the... No, this, this field study started in 2006. It's by Fujian Agriculture University. They, they have a group uh, carry out the, the studies. The, the meeting we were there, that was 2007. So basically using the field uh, observation, there are some statist statistical modeling studies, but what makes it more interesting is if you look at the populations, just like the Euro, Hudson Bay for uh, the, the data, you will see this is the, the data of the little bit more than starting of 2006 till 2008. So this is the data. Now we were trying to understand what's behind this uh, data, especially for this printed uh, mite uh, and the, uh, the, 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 the past. So to do this, in fact, this is a simple diagram uh, of past and the predator mite. You know, you have three stages and then you have uh, the mite. To make it more complicated, uh, the nymph of the mite also participates to, to catch the, 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 the nymph of uh, uh, in, uh, Onuki. 
So this is usually you would see a six dimension of model, even if you ignore all other species, also the, the ground, uh, what is on the ground. So this would be the simplest model to build. Uh, and then we, if you ignore the stages, you will see a, a two dimensional model. E is the past, M is the mite, the nature enemies. Because the, the nature enemies, uh, the, the mite, it, it, without the past, they can still survive, grow uh, in, in the tea garden. Uh, for this, in fact, like at the beginning, I was thinking this is too simple. I, I asked, you know, Pei Yuan, my student, try to do it as an example uh, to, to practice the, the, pre, uh, the dynamical analysis. And then it turns out this is so difficult you know, for this model. The difference is like in the example here presented, so you have a mass action, the hauling tag one. Now it's the standard instance, uh, the, the response function. Also like Shigui and many other. Yeah, this is, in fact, I, I even didn't really pay attention to it because before that, in 97, there was a book when I was with, uh, with Kiro, like there's a book, uh, what's the name of that uh, author? Yeah, Bas Basky. No, 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 no that, that, that book and model is completely different. But this, is, this model was the first time Christian Magal posted. Christian Magal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know that. You know, when we submitted this paper, like I remember, Hal Smith was thinking, "This is not your model. This is a model on the shelf." So he didn't consider this is a model we we built, even though we presented the 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 the, the, the data. So anyway, this is. So this is a model. Um, so for this model, even though there are a lot of things involved, so. Uh, the key points here I want to mention the neopotent singularities and limb cycles related to the system. Uh, there's a comparison. The difference is here, uh, it's just uh, the, the predator does not have a, a logistic growth. And then just these differences make the dynamics or limb, number of limb cycles different in this example. So I will quickly present uh, what we have in this model. So of course, we will start by looking at the equilibrium point, and then uh, you will have uh, three boundary uh, equilibrium point. One is past free, the other is mite free. Also both have zero so you have three equilibrium points representing three uh, state also for positive equilibrium point if it, it uh, exists so it will be the intersection of two curves uh, in the em plane so u1 and u2 so if you elim eliminating m you get a cubic polynomial to decide the number of uh, positive equilibrium point of course, this is like looks very complicated uh, comparing to the predator prey without a largest growth for predator. So in order to do analysis, because we do not have really have a formula to, to look at the equilibrium point. So we start by looking at the most complicated cases, or in other words, where the dynamics is organized. Uh, if you look at the uh, discriminant uh, for the polynomial. So if you use K1 and K2 as parameters, you will see the number of uh, positive equilibrium point. So inside you, you see three, outside you see one. On the blue curve, you see uh, two. So one is repeated, you have a simple one. And the most important case is happening at the intersection of these two curves, which is at K star. So at K star, you see three, three points come together. So that may be the organization center for all the 
applications and that uh, complex dynamics. So the situation is illustrated uh, to this uh, graph. So if you denote E1, E2, E3 are three root, positive roots. And then here, to make it different, so E1, E2 can come together. So you can prove the middle one is a shadow, and E1 and E3 are non-shadow. Either it's a load or focus. And then if you have limb cycles, this would give you the possibility, uh, you know, for example, E1, E2 come together, it can generate the BT bifurcation of co-dimension two and three. But if E2 and E3 come together, it will generate the similar uh, bifurcations, uh, BT bifurcation of co-dimension two and three. The third possibility, these three points come together, come together and then it will generate a singularity of at least co-dimension three also, the co-dimension can be higher. To look into the details, uh, we look at the condition when the three equilibrium points come together. So this is like fixed K1 and K2. Uh, using K1 and K2 as parameters, also using R1, the growth rate for the uh, past, fix all other parameters, and then we get the condition if K1 and K2 equals to that condition uh, 10. So if this is satisfied, you see S12, S23, S123, the three equilibrium points come together. So in this case, if you substitute the parameter value back into the system, looking at the local uh, uh, linearization of the system, you find at this point, you have a normal form, which is in 11. So this is like tells you, you know, the starting term, this is just one possibility. The starting term is of cubic term. So this is a kind of neopotent singularity uh, with co-dimension that I will present it in the next page, either three or four or even higher. Uh, For this, in fact, we have this, it's supposed to be a theorem. So to conclude the, the, the uh, neopotent singularity, one is if R is in that range, depends on how fast the, uh, the, the predator might grow. So if R is in that range, you will see a neopotent elliptic uh, singularity of co-dimension three. So if R2 is in this range, so and then this S123 is a focus type of co-dimension 3, 2. But if you have this two, two uh, R2 equals to these two values, and then this would be a neopotent point of co-dimension 4. Uh, so this is really, you know, these are the simulations to show that it, indeed it is happening. So this is the first conclusion to confirm in such a system, you have neopotent singularity of uh, elliptic or focal type. Uh, the co-dimension can be three and four. So these are the simulations. Uh, so I will skip this. Basically, this as a possible face portrait uh, showing complexity of the system. As I mentioned, we concern more about uh, limb cycles, the number of limb cycles. But this has just happened. Uh, so this, this is, I will skip the process, but doing the simulations beyond the bifurcation analysis of neopotent singularities. So that is indeed a uh, complicated, tedious process. So I choose not to present it. Uh, but the simulations tells you in this, model, you, you find three cycles. Two cycles in the middle, you see two cycles. One is uh, stable, the, large, the middle ones uh, is unstable. But outside of that, you see the blue one. So this blue one is another limb cycle. Also, if you look at the, the, the uh, time plot, 
you see it's a kind of typical fast slow oscillation because when you are getting close to the equilibrium point it becomes slow and then it runs fast when you're on the regular orbit. So by this, so this in, in fact is an observation from the simulation. At the, when the paper was published, we, we still didn't touch uh, how to, the, where this cycle comes from. Uh, this is something similar, remind me a lot, Chunhua and Michael uh, also wish, uh, they had the paper looking at this type of cycles in a high three-dimensional predator prey system. So that is by looking at the Pangari map uh, to conclude the existence of a uh, limb cycle. In fact, that limb cycle is like one possibility is it can be a fast, slow oscillation. So this is the so-called, not only just by stability in terms of ecology uh, of biosystems. Here you see, in fact, three or uh, three stability of uh, of the system. So here, this is a brief explanation. So where this large cycle come from? It's come from the bifurcation of graphic with the neopotent singularity. So the last part, I will come back to connect the predator prey uh, dynamics with the six things problem. Uh, what it can hint to us. So I will look at uh, the neopotent singularities in the plane. The simplest case would be, so if you write the, 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 the system centered at the equilibrium point, you will see the, uh, the form of the work field. So this was first used by Tuckens in, in 74. So for that, for this case, there are two kinds of possibilities so far we can see. One is something, uh, wrong way. One is something we call it the singularity, we call it cusp. And the related bifurcations, we call it uh, bottom of Tucker's bifurcation. So the, the, the normal form typically looks like this, uh, the neopotent part. So the second equation starts with quadratic term. The feature is it starts with x squared. So if you have x squared, so this type of equilibrium point, we call it a cusp. And then this cusp, the related bifurcations, we call it BT bifurcation. So the, the, the lowest co-dimension is co-dimension two. Yeah, the co-dimension two case, you, you use two uh, parameters, you are able to unfold the, the bifurcation. So this is, would be the simplest case. The next is you have co-dimension three uh, cusp bifurcation. So you have three parameters. You see the, 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 the normal form here is still start with X square with the uh, uh, resonant term, you know, X cubic Y. A lot of studies related to the co-dimension three BT bifurcations too. So the typical uh, feature is you have uh, X squared. The high co-dimension it is denoted by X of order M, Y. M, we call it the co-dimension of the BT bifurcation. Again, there are a lot of studies about this. Uh, so this is, we call it cusp point. You have X, the, norm, the, 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 the gem, uh, the second uh, equation, it starts with x squared. So this is one type of uh, uh, singularity. The other type is without x squared. If you do not see x squared, so this, this point will not be a cusp. Then this will, we call it neopotent either shadow type or uh, uh, elliptic type or focal type, three possibilities. And then the normal form would take the form, you know, it started by x cubic, also depends on the coefficient of x y, x square y, also x cubic y. Uh, as you see in the predator prey system, the 
the theorem looks like this. It starts with x cubic without x y, x square y, but it has x square y uh, in this way. So for this, this one is totally different from the BT bifurcations. And then for this related studies, in fact, it is things like uh, 97 uh, in the book, uh, it, it was mentioned. So this is too difficult if you have uh, singularity uh, with co-dimension over three or higher. Uh, so these are the possible connections. For example, these are all the graphics which can appear in this type of uh, system. Now you will need to look at bifurcate of this kind of graphic, how many limb cycles you would expect. So this problem, in fact, started uh, in 1987. Uh, so this is like uh, uh, mainly, you know, Guggenheimer uh, and the co-author look at this question by looking at the full parameter uh, bifurcations. You see, this, is, this was uh, published in 80, 87 in spring election dose of mathematics. Uh, for this study related to, to it, uh, also later, uh, oh, not listed. Where's that page? Later, Alexander also uh, with Christian Hosso in 91 or 98, look at the same problems, but looking at three parameter bifurcations get some partial uh, bifurcation diagram. For this, uh, as I mentioned, the reason I showed this, because in this case, uh, the possible bifurcations related, because if E1, E2 comes together, it can generate BT bifurcation of code dimension two and three. Also E2, E3 come together, it generates bifurcations of BT uh, of code dimension three and two. So this is one possibility. If three come together and then it can be a neopotent singularity. So basically in this type of model, when you have uh, three points come together, it is possible, uh, I wrote uh, observation. For example, when whole dimension four happens, there are two possibilities. One is three plus one. Basically there is a single simpler equilibrium point plus a co-dimension three neopotent non-BT, non-cusp point. So this is one possibility. The second possibility, two plus two, is uh, uh, two BT bifurcation of co-dimension two happening together, make it general, uh, make it co-dimension four. Of course, like this can be happening by two plus one plus one, also four, uh, the last case, in fact, it is wrong here because we only have three equilibrium points. So in some cases, it is possible you have four equilibrium points come to, together to formulate a code measure four. But in this example, we only have uh, three plus one, two plus two, or two plus one plus one. So we are looking at, you know, in terms of uh, the, the composition, uh, of the different co-dimension of singularity to look at the possible connections of the bifurcations. So this is like uh, what can happen in terms of neopotent singularity in this model. For this, uh, this would be the last page, you know, to connect things. So here, when you look at the bifurcations of neopotent singularities, you know, these are the uh, the last, in fact, this can include 13 graphics needs to be proved. The, the bifurcation of the limb cycles uh, are finite. So when, in the early papers, we didn't care about how many limb cycles, we care about the bump of the limb cycle. Now, if we look at this again, so the conclusion is, we are trying to conclude this, the exact, cyclicity or the exact number of limb cycles can appear through bifurcations of these graphics is at the most two. In many of the cases, you only have one large cycle. 
So to do this, this is the, after 2015, the, the new paper I'm continuing to work. Of course, it's delayed by this COVID things. But the, some of them already proved like we see the result. Uh, also, one important uh, observation is the number of leaf cycles does not uh, depend on the co-dimension of the neopotent singularity in quadratic uh, system. So this is very important. You know, no matter you have a co-dimension three or co-dimension four singularity for the quadratic systems, the related bifurcations of uh, the number of limb cycles bifurcated from this graphic is just either it's one or two. But in, in order to verify it, it takes a lot of work. So with that proved and early result, hopefully we are able to conclude. Um, so this number of limb cycles uh, for quadratic system can be exactly four. Till you finish the verif verify you know, the first item. So it's a, again, it's a long journey uh, to, to go. So this is like the observation of this, in fact, is coming from the study of bifurcations of the predator prey system. It helps to understand the local structure and the limit cycles to solve the six things problem for quadratic uh, white field. Uh, hopefully I made the close story from six things problem and the predator prey uh, dynamics. So I will stop here, uh, thank you. Okay, do we have